Hi, I'm going to give a quick introduction to how you can start using the new Dynamo add-in that we have for Revit and Basari. I'm going to show it in Basari this morning, but you can do the same things in Revit. Uh, so if I go to new, I'm going to start off in a uh, mass family because, uh, well, right now there's a lot more tools that you can use in the mass family, so I think it's a little bit easier to sort of show. So I'm here in my mass, and I'm going to go to my add-ins, and I'm going to go Dynamo. And here we have it, full screening first, and I'm just going to show you a little bit about the UI and where to find things. Um, if you've been using it before, you can see that there's sort of an expanded menu up here up top. It shows a little bit more of the sort of standard kinds of controls that you usually get. Um, over here you've got samples and help, which will have a lot of different examples of different files that will do different cool things. And I'm just going to go through the process of making a point just to show you where some things are. So let's say that I want to make a reference point. I can go in here and I can look in this browser over here for Revit points. And I've got a number of different things. I can talk a little bit about these custom nodes in a moment. But say I want to get a reference point, I can either double click on that. Or I can also, if I'm back up here at the top level menu, where I've got lots of different categories. We're working on it. These categories don't make a lot of sense, but bear with us. This is work in progress for sure. Um, I can also just put in reference point, and you can see all the different things that accord with that sort of search come up. So I've got reference point here. Anyway, so now I've got my reference point, and you'll notice that I don't have anything in my canvas yet. And there's a number of reasons why that is, for one thing. You're not running automatically, first of all, which I'm going to put on in a second, but also because it doesn't have enough information yet. We haven't put default values into any of these nodes, so you do need to actually make it sort of fully defined before it's going to come out here. So it's asking me for an XYZ for my reference point. So I can go XYZ, and I can just hit Enter to get it, or I can double click on it to get it. I can drag these bad boys around. Um, I only need one of them, so I just right-clicked on it. And I can go delete. Um, there we have our guys. So I can wire these two guys together, but like I said, we don't have uh, predefined values for any of these things, so you actually do need to wire up what it's going to do. I'm also going to run it automatically so that when it does start to do its thing, it will represent out here in the canvas. So right now you can see that I've got an error state because this guy is not fully configured yet. So this is asking me for numbers. I want to get numbers for my X, my Y, and my Z. So I can say number, and there I get my number. Double click in here to get this guy. And I can also see that next to number I also get a number slider, which is very excited with an exclamation point saying create a number by using sliders. Yay, sliders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this guy up, and I have my zero, I got my zero, still in an error state because it doesn't have enough information, and I'm going to do this one up to here. Oh, and there, I've got my point. Yay! Seems like a lot of work for a point, right? But the idea is that you can start building up these larger definitions. So now I've got my slider worked up here, and I can see that my point is moving along with it over here. So you might say to yourself, well, I know that every time I want to do a reference point, I'm going to want to have an XYZ with it. So why can't I just have that as a single node? Well, you can. So the magicians back here sort of worked out a couple of things. So you can select everything, box select like that. And if I right click out here, I can say new node from selection. So new node from selection. What do I want this to be? Uh, this is going to be Crohn's point. X, Y, Z. I can give it any kind of stupid name that is not useful as I want, or you can give it something more sensible. You can categorize what this new node is that you're making, and I'm going to put it in Revit points, or I could put it in my own category down here, which I started earlier. Why don't I do that? I'll put it in my own thing to keep it out of the general population. So, okay. Ta-da! It even has a nice little glow around it so that you know that this is now a custom node. So if I double click into this, I can see what it's made out of, and I can edit it. I can go back to my home workspace, which is where I was. You can also do Control H will get you there. So if I go back, now I've got 
these two things going on. It makes a new point. The old one got sort of left behind and something we're working on. Again, when you find problems that bug you, please let us know. This is a work in progress and it's being built by you. So by all means, chip in. So now I've got my custom node, which is still being controlled by my slider. Um, I can search this one out. I can go Crohn's point. And I can either go directly to the workspace to edit it, or I can just place another one like that. Ta-da! And yeah, I can wire this one up too. Uh, here, I'll wire this one up so that it moves in a different way than the other one, but they can both work together. So now I've got two points working. And the other thing that's kind of fun about this, if I minimize this for a second, is that these are full-fledged Revit elements. So if I select these two guys, I can connect them by a line. Here, I'll make it a I'll make it a reference line, and I'll I'll make some form off of it. And let's go back out to my Dynamo definition. And so now I can slide this thing, and I've got a combination of stuff that I made manually in the canvas and stuff that I've made within the graph all working together. So more stuff to show on this, but just a very quick introduction to some of the UI and where you can find some of the points. But uh, stay tuned, and we'll have more information on Dynamo. Thanks for watching.